Happy Monday, everybody. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, and hopefully, you guys watched the Super Bowl. We're going to talk about that. But first, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Free Easy, aka Not So Fresh for the Salon, but Friday is today. Yes! DKA, the people's still fast. So, y'all only got like four more days to see me in this bonnet, and then, you know. She getting it. tell them why, yes, man. Yes, yes. If you know you guys watching the video, I am on this whole lock journey and um, it, it needs to be retwisted. So it's been like six weeks after you not having to really comb your hair and just kind of letting it dry out so it could be able to lock. And we're, we're almost there. I mean, not the locking part, but just, you know, so for they the can be able to put for the retwist, retwist so it can lock. Yeah. So yeah, four more days. So anyway. Let's start off with a huge congratulations to the great state of Kansas City, y'all. He said the great state the of great Kansas. State, he said the great state of Kansas City. Oh, he said congratulations to the great state. Man, gonna, I was going to have to do a tweet check. No, nah, I don't worry about you right now. I'm pretty sure he said the great state of Kansas. Either way, <laughs> the great state of Kansas or Kansas City is wrong. still wrong. It's still wrong. So if you guys don't know who we're talking about, we're talking about the President Trump. That's, that's what he tweeted out, the great state of Kansas or Kansas City. It was one of those, but I think it's Kansas City. But anywho, so today on the segment of Who Did It Better, we're going to take it to the halftime show and compare Shakira or your girl Jenny from the block, J-Lo. And we're comparing the, uh, the yeah, shape. Got Shakira. Got Shakira. You got J-Lo, Jenny. And then we got both of them at the same time. At the same damn time. At the, at the same, same damn, damn time. time. Super Bowl highlights at the same damn time. And my personal favorite. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> but it remind me of that bird off of Moana. That's the bird. The bird off of Moana. That's what it reminded me of. Don't it? You remember yeah. that little bird? Mm -hmm. So drop it down below uh, who you thought did it better or who is your favorite, uh, Shakira or uh, J-Lo. I mean, they definitely know how to work. The belly, what's that, belly dancing and the little, mm -hmm. I can't do it. This is totally belly dancing right here, but I can't even beat it. Are you being funny? No, I was being joking. Anyway, yeah, let them know. Yeah, so drop it down below. And who were you pulling for? What did you guys think about the game last night? Drop it down below. If you, Were you pulling for the 49ers or were you pulling for uh, Kansas City? Because if you was pulling for the Kansas City Chiefs, you need to go over here to Breeze Tees. Yes! And click on the Kansas City Chiefs. We got the Chiefs down there. Get your Chiefs baby Yoda gear. Choose your shirt color. Huh? Huh? Choose your hoodie color. We got the red hoodies. We got the slim fit hoodies. We got the slim fit red hoodies. Bro, we got everything. We're gonna put most stuff in here, but you know, we just we just we fleshed but it out right you now. Know what? Regular. Dry fit. And if you go if you want another team, look, you can switch your teams and all that. I'm gonna put all 32 teams up here eventually. But Jay Easy, I have a question. What's that? Why stop there when you can customize your own shirt? Well, I'm glad you asked that question here. If you wanna customize <laughs> your own shirt and have your own custom shirt, you come over here, you choose your size. You doggone choose your garment that you wanted to be on right here. We want it on a on a black hoodie or whatever. I'm gonna put the other hoodies in here. Let's put, let's put it on a gray hoodie. Let's just find let's just find what we want right there. I don't, I don't even know what artwork this is. We can't we can't we can't put a shirt on a shirt. Hey, you just find something right here, man. What am I do with that? That's that's what we want. Uh, double up. Oh, we any any image you like, yeah, any you can put it on there. Go to the baby dad pool. That's the one you always use. The baby dead pool. Man, yeah. we're putting Haggard the mayor of Earth. I want the mayor of Earth on a shirt. There you go. You want the mayor of Earth on a shirt? Find a picture of the mayor of Earth, download it, and do it like that. We, we got all the shirts. All the shirts came in today. If you ordered one last week, they're going to be going out in the next uh, day or so. You should. Everybody should that ordered last week should have theirs by Friday. Right. And don't stop there. Call 555, save now. You can save now. That's right, guys. Here's the code right up here. Hit it back, Jay. Yes. At checkout, enter this code. Save now. It's right there. And it will take some um some percentages off your, your total price. Yeah, man. Yeah. So it. that's it for the Breeze News. And I <laughs> <laughs> Get out my seat. Get out my seat. Bro, y'all can't tell me that this wouldn't that this right here wasn't the funniest part of the Super Bowl. Like, this is going to be a meme forever. <laughs>
Bro, this is gonna be a meme. It's gonna be a meme forever. Bro, look, 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 look. Bro what was she doing? I don't know, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. We're gonna get right into the news. The Super Bowl, Beast Mode activated. We got this. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna put the tanks up today. So keep checking back today. If not today, they'll be up tomorrow. We're gonna have all the apparel up. Check it out, man. This is what I want y'all to understand, man. We as Falcons fans, we already knew what time it was. Now I'm watching, I'm watching uh first things first or whatever with Jenny and all them guys, man. And um and uh Mark is sitting here acting like he don't understand what everybody's saying. Why Kyle Shanahan blew it again. And everybody like, well, what do you mean? Listen to me and listen to me good. Running the football is what got them there. Okay? You got there by running the football, not by passing it. You got there by running it and keeping Jimmy G out of situations where he had to be great. That's what you did. You kept him out of those situations. You ran the football. I'm going to tell you, if I'm a player and we running the ball down the other team's throat, and then, like, this is what Kyle Shanahan does inevitably. He inevitably gets too smart for his own good. He says, we're running the ball, running the ball, running the ball. The only reason the passing game is good is because it comes off of play action. But there comes a point in time where if they cannot stop you from running the ball, then you don't stop. The only time that you go play action is if, let's say you get a, uh, uh, you run the ball and um and you get stopped. And they're thinking, okay, well, we getting stopped. We're going to run it again. And you're not successful. Then maybe after you get a first down, then you go play action after that. But if they can't stop the ball, Kansas City showed no signs of being able to stop the run in the last two games. They didn't show any signs of it. So it's like, like, why would you change it up? I would make, I got a 10 point lead. I would make them make me stop running the ball. I, they, they would have to stop me before I stop running it. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again and try it again. What's the, what's the worst that could happen? It's the same results. You didn't score no damn points. Same thing with Atlanta. You say, okay, we're running the ball. We're running the ball. We're running the ball. These guys are going to anticipate us running the ball one time. So let's throw the ball. Let's go play action and throw it. Maybe we can hit them over the top. But the problem with that whole thing is you don't got the caliber quarterback that can do that, number one. he ain't That ain't no Matt Ryan back there. And everybody talk about Matt Ryan, but, hey, Matt Ryan better than Jimmy Garoppolo, and he better than doggone, uh, he better than Flacco, too. How that whole Matt Ryan, we want to trade Matt Ryan in for Flacco. Flacco ain't even got no team right now. That's right. But Matt Ryan better than Flacco, man, and you couldn't make that work with Matt Ryan. He, he better than Jimmy Garoppolo. You couldn't make it work with uh with Matt Ryan. What makes you think you're going to make it work with Garoppolo? Really? Garoppolo? The dog go porn star Jimmy G. I mean, he be hooping, but he's not like that, man. Your quarterback got exposed last night. Let's just be honest. You know you don't got a quarterback like that. You got a 10-point lead. You got about eight minutes left. Run the ball. Take some time off the clock. That's all you had to do. But like I said, he outsmarted himself and said, well, they, they, they're going to expect us to run the ball. We just got five yards on first down. Uh, let's let's go play action. And they were ready for it. And then you got, you, hey, he, got he got rocked twice. And that was it. That, I mean, that's, that's all to it, man. Sometimes you can outsmart yourself. It's just like, oh, man, when people say, all you're going to do is run the ball. If they can't stop it, they can't do it. Players are completely fine with going down with the ship if you're doing what got you there. They didn't do what, they, they, they didn't do what got them there. They did something different than what got them there. That's why everybody's pissed. If they had done what got them there, it would have been no problem. Run the ball, man. Run the ball. Even if you run the ball the last three possessions, you take at least a minute 45 off the clock. That's it. Game is over with, but hey, it is what it is, man. Like, you didn't, he didn't even get sacked. He even got rid of the ball, too, bro. It's just so disappointing, man, but I don't care because uh, we got moments like this because of that. Boom, Kyle Shanahan with the Spider-Man. Hey, is that you? Hey, is that you? We got, we got the, this, this is my favorite one right here. Nick Bosa showing up to the White House, even though the Niners lost. <laughs> one of my favorites right here. <laughs> anyway. Uh, they got the Richard Sherman crying. So I don't know who did this Photoshop work right here. Mwah. Excellent. Wow. And, and yeah, yeah, they, that's that's perfect right wow. there. I don't even know how they did that. Hey, like I said, life comes at you fast. If they can't score, we can't lose Richard Sherman. And then, <laughs> who got this man doing a straight face plant? Like, where did they find, bro, where do y'all be finding this stuff, bro? I don't know, man. Anyway, man, let's get to the 2K news so I can get y'all up out of here, man. First things first, let me know who y'all were going for in the Super Bowl and all of that good stuff. Hey, Take Too Sick, hit me up if you're trying to get one of the KC joints, man. I'm putting them in there just for you, my boy, the red, the red hoodie and all that stuff. Anyway, who's making, 
into the ship. Tune in and watch the 2KGC America, America's regional finals to see who will advance to the uh, to the global championship. Bro, I don't even think anybody cares about this. I think they playing regs pretty much. I don't even think they play. Like, what are they even playing in this right here? Is it my team? Is this the my team tournament? Uh, I said there's a bug where I don't get the VC from completing the daily bonuses. Hey, hey 2K support say check out 2K support. Somebody got to tell me what this is, man, because I have no clue about this tournament. The only thing I really know about is the 2K League, and people don't even really care about the 2K League anyway. Um, they say that's going the way of the dinosaur pretty soon because they just, it's not viable. I mean, I don't see, because nobody, nobody really watches it, man, and... It's just one of those things. Like, what do y'all think about the 2K League? I think it was a good idea. I think it was great. But the fact is that you, the players that you got, okay, so you went and got the best comp players for 2K League, right? Which is the best players, the best comp players. But the problem with playing with the best comp players is comp players do anything to win. They don't care how the game looks. They don't care that they're just going to do what works and they're going to do it over and over and they're going to do. They, the, the, to me, we've always, I think everybody's always said that comp players are the people that exploit the game at the highest level and they're okay with doing the same bullshit over and over regardless of what in order to win. That That's the that's comp in 2K. In Call of Duty, if you comp, that means that you, you, mean, you still exploit the game to some degree, but you're better at a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? You're better at shooting. You're better at finding people. But like I said, for the most part in 2K, the highest levels of competition are the people that just support the game the most, man. So, you know, it is what it is. That's how that goes. That's how I've always seen it. And, um, you know, we're going to see how that goes. But y'all let me know what that is. Up next, visit Visitor on Earth bringing the drip. Visitor on Earth bringing the drip. New shorts, new shirts, sweats, and now... And, and more now live in the neighborhood, man. So, you know, that's cool, man. It seems like it's cool. They're bringing up some more drip. I might get that Shazam looking shirt, you know, with the with the big lightning bolt on it. If it ain't $39,000, man, or whatever, you know, VC or whatever. I might I might holler at that, man. You know, we might check that out and see what it's hidden for. I say, let's see what it's hidden for. But up next, the biggest thing that we got right here, ladies and gentlemen, Puma Mania is bike. 2K don't give a damn about your... About your uh, Valentine's Day, none of that shit. They don't care. 2K trying to break up relationships around this motherfucker. So we ain't going up for Valentine's Day? Hell no. We stand for Puma, Puma Mania. <laughs> Valentine's Day weekend, February the 15th, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Puma Mania is that weekend. 2K said, damn your weekend plans. Damn what you had going on. Damn it if you had, look, Valentine, we like, shoot, Valentine Day on a Friday. We get to celebrate all weekend. 2K says, psych your mind. We breaking up our relationships. We don't care about none of that shit. Y'all should have did it on Groundhog Day this weekend when nobody wasn't doing nothing. But now, y'all want to do Valentine's Day. Fortunately, fortunately, me and Bridget, we go ahead and get our Valentine's Day weekend out the way on Friday. My, my, my sister probably going to babysit my, um, my little boy on Saturday. We going to do a little something, have us a nice... Uh, you know, nice night out or whatever, and I'll get the rest of the time. But see, I'll get the I'll get the beginning half of the day, so I'll get all day Friday with Bridget. I'll get um I'll get uh the back half of the day on Saturday, and then all day Sunday I play, play Puma Mania and all this. So I got my stuff lined up. But 2K ruining relationships out this bitch. They don't, they don't give a damn about your Valentine's Day weekend. But hey, now you got the perfect excuse, baby. It's Puma Mania. We did our thing on Friday. Valentine's Day was on Friday. I can't, can I, can I at least have the whole weekend? Make that Friday matter. That's all I'm telling y'all. Get her off, of, let me tell y'all, this is the sauce right here. This is how you can do it. Get her off of work. Surprise her at work at like 12, 12 o'clock, one o'clock or something like that on Friday. All right? Surprise her at work. Flowers, candy, whatever, balloons, all that stuff. Meet her at the job when she gets off. And then y'all go do y'all Valentine's Day thing right there. Show up. Matter of fact, walk into the damn job. You dress to the nines. To the, dress to the nines or whatever. Walk into the job. Say, sweetheart, are you ready to go? And then, you know, hey, let her smile in front of all her friends. Bring her something nice or whatever. Walk her out the door. Once you walk her out the door, y'all go have a fantastic night. Take her to her favorite restaurant. Let her go buy a little bag or something. You know, buy something that she's been wanting. Let her let her speak out what she want, though. This is your day, baby. Do all this stuff. All right. Okay, you, you sticking with me? All this stuff on Friday. Saturday morning, when she gets up, before she even gets up, Breakfast in bed, 
that do, cook the eggs last. Cause we know some of y'all <laughs> youngest cooking the leg, eggs first. We know some of y'all youngest cook the eggs first. Cook the bacon first. Make the toast when you halfway through the bacon, okay? And then you make the eggs last, put it all on the plate. Bam, drop that on her in the bed or whatever with the orange juice and all that. Her, well, just take it to her in the bed, say, hey baby, you know, take the toothbrush stuff cause you don't want to eat while you're breast snacking and stuff. So go ahead, take her toothbrush, all that stuff, let her get herself right. Drop the, you know, let her eat the breakfast in bed. Before she even gets out the bed, I got the day planned, baby. Bam! All day spa! This is for you! All day spa with the pedicure, the manicure. They're gonna take care of your hair. They're gonna do the doggone uh, massage and all that stuff. You know, and it's probably gonna be a dude that's buff, ass naked in there massaging like the dude off Baby Boy or something like that. Don't worry about all that. Just, let, you go to the spa, enjoy your day. Bam! Now she out of there. She's so happy. God, look what he did! And then you come back, you go do Puma Mania all day. That's gonna buy you all day right there. Oh, it started at 7 p.m.? Oh, it started at 7 p.m. So yeah, let get it. Look, it started at 7 p.m., so we good anyway. Nah, I think it's gonna start. Yeah, so it's saying it started at 7 p.m. Whatever. Anyway, she out the house all day. She come back. Y'all go do something real quick at 7 p.m. Boom! You own there. Alright? You in there like swimwear, she not gonna bother you no more. She gonna be relaxed. She gonna come back in round three. You gonna take her back out. Take her to like Waffle House or something like that. You know, uh, get you a little backbeat nation for the backbeat nation. And then she gonna be sleep. She gonna be done for the rest of the day. That's gonna buy you the whole rest of the weekend. I didn't even know we had the seven o'clock. Breakfast, send her to the spa. When she get back from the spa, take her to another lame ass movie or something like that. Boy, y'all straight, man. I'm telling you, then you got, that's gonna buy, would that buy me the rest of the weekend? If I did that? Pick you up from work, take you out that night, have a great time. The next morning, make you breakfast in bed, um, make you breakfast or whatever. And then after that, all day spa, you got an all day spa. And then when you get back from the spa, let's say you got a spa from like 11 to three. Then from three, from three to about six, me and you hang out again. We go watch a movie or something, have another dinner, nice dinner or whatever, with LJ this time probably. And then at seven o'clock, you ain't fucking with me no more, are you? That strokes is gonna be included. That's gonna buy me the strokes. Well, look, I just need the massage and the strokes and, um, and pedicure. Okay, well, you damn, you, she, I, I, look, man, it is what it is. She said she just want the massage and the strokes. She don't even need all that stuff. Anyway, man, hey, look, when somebody say something like that, the only thing, only thing I'm thinking when she said that is, yeah, that's how it's gonna be right now, too, Bridget. <laughs> That's, hey, if you can say that, if you can say that to that Pink Panther, that's a, you, you ain't probably ain't got to worry about nothing anyway. You just get up in there, yeah. 2K news. Back to the 2K news anyway, man. But like I was saying, man, I'm just joking. It's all jokes, but I'm dead ass serious. If you follow that, if you follow that itinerary that I just laid out, you can get your Puma Mania all day. I'm just letting y'all know, me and T will be streaming like, like all this time right here. It's going to be dope. Then the next day is 2 a.m. to 2 a.m. and 2 a.m. to the other 2 a.m. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man, if I just laid out the plan. We got a little bit off track, but hey, we got a little bit off track, but it's all good, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Joy, uh, Nick Bosa showing up. He ain't amused. It is what it is. That's, that's hilarious right there. He like, Sh Shanahan did it again. But y'all let me know who y'all taking, Shakira with the brass knuckles right here, or J-Lo, Jenny from the block. Again, I say Shakira, or Jenny from the block. Or hey, at the same damn time, at the same damn time, they both is shaking ass at the same damn time. There was a time when, when, um, when Jenny from the block was more rectally endowed than, uh, then Shakira, but now Shakira winning that race. Did she, did, did, hey, did J-Lo have a butt reduction, man? I think she did. They say she didn't. She, they say she said she did. I remember that ass in Anaconda. That ass was bigger than that. She's but it is. Younger, so. yeah, yeah, whatever. Your ass don't get smaller as you get younger, especially if you Latin. You ever seen some of them Dominican grandmas? No. Them asses be outstanding, outrageous. But anyway, I got to hear about that, man, before I lose my Valentine's Day privileges. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm going to at y'all next time. Till next time, like the video. If you like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content and outrageous stuff like this. And I'm going to at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Town. Godspeed!